So what's your DJ name? BC. DJ BC? Just BC. Yeah. <laughs> Hard to Google. Yeah. Yeah. Is B dot C dot? B E S E E. Wait, B C. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright, I'll check it out. <laughs> Alright, take care. I started playing music really young at the age of like three. My parents bought me a little acoustic guitar. And then after that, I think it took a while for me to get back into music. Um, actually, when Sean moved to Christopher Road, we started playing music together. So Sean and I, our group is called Adverse Effects. That's the name of our duo. Um, I'm BC, he's Swick. When I was like 16, I got into DJing, and that to me felt like home. <laughs> five years old or so he had an electric guitar so I always saw him messing around with it and then eventually I started I started playing too and he kind of got me started <laughs> is we each write music by ourselves and then we bring that music to the table and we sort of manipulate the music to be good for live sets. So we like remove some parts or we filter out some frequencies. There's lots of places where you can play music and if you're really passionate about it, you, you can get in and, and, and play music in Portland. Like Sean said, it's very accessible. I'm excited to go to Bull Moose. I haven't been there in a long time. Probably like, I don't know, two or three months I haven't been inside Bull Moose. But they're actually, they're selling my music in there. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a, uh, I was part of a collaboration CD um, compilation for Damnation Land, which is like a film festival in Maine that's like all horror movies. And I wrote a song with my girlfriend, Hannah, um, that was on the soundtrack and they used it in one of the movies called Syndrome. So I think it's, it's in Bull Moose, so I want to find the CD while we're in there. does not seem like it's organized that well alphabetically. You see it? That's, oh shit, dope. Okay. Oh no, they don't have the newest. 2016. And I'm gonna ask at the front if they have the one. This is the one from 2015. Let's go see if they have it up front. Let's see if they have the record. Unless it's... Yeah, right here. Because th these are the ones from 2015, 2016. 2015. Yeah. It has like a tan-ish cover on it. Yeah, we may have sold out actually. It might be sold out. Yeah. I know it was here at one point. Yeah. Let me just go check on the computer. Okay, right thanks man. Uh, looks like the last copy was sold on the 5th. So. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we'll probably get more and stuff if anyone orders them. 
Okay. I guess, or something like that. Well, I guess that's we... that's good. Yeah, we sold a warehouse. Yeah. So, I okay. guess. Now uh... you're sold out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have I have a track on the on the record. Oh, which dope. is cool. I did like. Uh, did you listen to it? Oh, I haven't. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure there's like a million things you can listen to here. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I usually just grab one of my CDs. So. Yeah. You you make music too? No, no. I just my collection. Oh, okay. Cool. All. Yeah. I was... I gotta, see, I gotta find the, the bone cheap records. That's what I'm looking for. A lot of times, even underneath, they have even more discounts. Like down here. Um. to try, you know. Let's see, this is the kind of price I'm looking for. Oh. 97 cents. That's what I'm talking about. It doesn't even have album art on it, but it has trumpet, so I think I could find some cool samples on there, you know? You have enough points if you want to to get this $1 yeah. thing half off. Yeah. You want to do that? Cool. Sure. Uh, yeah. Totally is 51 cents. Cool. All right, okay. cents is your change. You know Do you want a bag? Um, yes, please. I actually use the bags for wrapping paper. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, yeah. On Local Motives, the show that I like co produce, we feature a different live musician every week. So I don't, I don't get to choose what music I play, but I get to choose which bands I book. So I can di book different artists there, and they play for like 90 minutes on air. So it's, it's a really, really cool show. It's every Friday night. You are listening to Local Motives right here on WMPG. My name is Matt. That was a track by The Bruins called Perfect Order, and we have them live in the studio with us tonight. They want to start with that one, yep. and then do, and then they'll, yep, yeah, they'll they'll mix it in, mix it up a little bit. Okay. On this channel, the Sure Mixer, um, will have like talking microphones for that, and then on this channel, um, we have the music feed. So depending on if I'm interviewing or they're playing music, we'll, we'll switch between the two channels. And what's happening basically is Josh is in the production room. He's, he's mixing all the sound together and he's sending me one signal. Just talk into that mic for a second. Check one, two, check, 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 check. Yeah, it's not coming through. Is that coming through your headphones? No. Where the hell is that coming from? <laughs> I don't know, I thought it was plugged in. <laughs> so there's always like some sort of technical difficulty. This is one of the nightclubs that I DJ at. I'm here on Thursday nights and occasionally Fridays and Saturdays, but usually I'm down on oh, at Oasis on the weekends. Or it's like you can't just see it, but Oasis is just down there to the corner. So I play like top 40 pop remixes, which is not my favorite style of music. <laughs> what I have to play, you know? So.
listening to it. <laughs> And, and especially the way that he was able to transition between them and create one cohesive piece. I thought that showed a lot of talent and a lot of hard work because uh, I know from experience that that's not easy to do. I like that it was like mellow and not like too loud because a lot of times when I hear music like that, it's very like loud and abrasive, but it wasn't, it wasn't abrasive, so I actually enjoyed listening to it. One last one for me. It's kind of an abstract one, but I always find it interesting of any artist. What's the story? What's your story that you're trying to tell? <clears throat> wow. BC is my sort of view on duality. Mm -hmm. It's like, I'm being that, mm -hmm. you know? And I'm seeing everybody else here. You are something that you can't change, and you're seeing what everybody else is, but you can't ever cross that barrier. But you can sometimes. So, so my name, BC, represents to me what are sort of the, the two forces that make up who I am. Matt is going to be famous, or even if he's not famous, he's going to be really successful because he's so passionate about it. He will, he will, he's so ambitious. He's going to make it in whatever way he wants to make it. Yeah. Dude, the ear. That is my biggest fear, is like ear damage. <laughs> Because that would, like, how would I possibly, I mean, I'd have to figure out some something else, but I would be ruined if my ears were ruined. So I wear earplugs everywhere I go. Like when I DJ, I wear earplugs. When I play shows, I wear earplugs. If I'm going to a concert, I wear earplugs. Even driving. Even, <laughs> yeah.